so hi and hello welcome to our channel name elbow exploration my name is samir and today we are going to learn recurrence relation basically recurrence relation is find from the recursive code to find the time complexity of that code previously we have seen the recursion and we have also seen the recursive code to find the factorial of a number now today with the help of that code we will try to find the recurrence relation for time taken by that code now let me first write the recursive code to find the factorial of a number if you didn't get what actually this code is i suggest you please try to watch the recursion video now actually this code is returning two values either 1 or n into f of n minus 1 so we can say that f of n is returning either 1 if n is less than equals to 1 or n into f of n minus 1 otherwise so actually this is the recurrence relation for the value now let's try to find the recurrence relation for the time taken by this code there are basically two return statements this one and this one this will take constant time because it is actually returning one or two so order of one now let's try to figure out how much time this statement is taking we don't know how much time is f of n minus 1 will take but we do know how much time multiplication of this two term will take that will be constant plus f of n minus 1 so this is the time taken by this line so f of n is equals to order of 1 if n is less than 1 or f of n minus 1 plus c otherwise so this is the recurrence relation for time taken by this code so in this way we find the recurrence relation for time taken by the code now let's find the recurrence relation for time taken for finding the nth fibonacci number now if you don't know what actually fibonacci means let me give some hint about it the first number will be 0 and the second will be 1 now the next number will be the addition of previous two number 0 plus 1 so it will be 1 now the next term will be also addition of previous two number 1 plus 1 similarly the next number also addition of previous two number 2 plus 1 that will be 3 this will be 3 plus 2 that will be 5 and so on 8 is nothing but 5 plus 3 13 will be 8 plus 5 21 will be 13 plus 8 34 will be 21 plus 13 55 is nothing but 34 plus 21 Now let me give the indexes. When we want to find fib of ten, 
that means Fibonacci of 10, then it should return 55. So what actually Fib of 10 means? It means Fib of 8 plus Fib of 9. That's it. So now let me write the recursive code to find the Fibonacci number. Now this code also returning two values either n or fib of n minus 1 plus fib of n minus 2. So fib of n is returning two values n if n is less than or equals to 1 or fib of n minus 1 plus fib of n minus 2 otherwise so this is the recurrence relation for the value n similarly let's try to find the recurrence relation for time taken by this code the time taken by this statement will be order of 1 only. Now I suggest you try to find the time taken by this statement on your own and then play the video to know the answer. So I hope you got the answer. It will be Fib of n minus 1 plus Fib of n minus 2 plus we can say c or 1 i try to write 1 because it's constant only how 1 because time taken by addition of this two term so that will be constant only so fib of n is equals to order of 1 if n is less than 1 or Fib of n minus 1 plus Fib of n minus 2 plus 1. Actually, we don't know how much time is Fib of n minus 1 and Fib of n minus 2 will take. Therefore, we will write as it is and plus 1 is came from addition of these two terms. Actually, this addition of these two terms. So, this is the recurrence relation for time taken by this code. So, in this way, we find the recurrence relation from the recursive code. Now, in the next lecture, I will show you how to solve the recurrence relation to find the time complexity of algorithm. Thank you.